Hi, I'm Mayo, and we're back today, but we're doing something different. I'm going to teach you how to paint a rhinoceros, and I'm going to add it to my Noah's Ark, my contemporary Noah's Ark painting. As you can see, I have this, kind of like 2001 in Space Odyssey, but it's a triangle, I mean a rectangle that is open, and it's another dimension that all the animals on the earth can go into. And as you can see, they're floating. And when they get to the bottom of this rectangle in this, the opening of another dimension, they're going to start rising and floating. And they're going to be preserved for the future. Face it, mankind is making a lot of mistakes. We really need to think more about consequence and the effects of what we're doing and um, as it says here, humanity has killed 83% of all mammals and half of all the plants. And that was a study on 9, 12, 18. So it's been a year, over a year now since that study. So we're losing a lot of species and animals. So I created, um, what would you call uh, surreal, surrealism as far as a Noah's Ark? So when the animals reach the back of the brain, which is man's brain, this represents man and his brain that isn't doing too good today. As far as solving problems, we need to, uh, and you know what I'm talking about, at least the young people, they know what's going on and they're more aware of it because it's their future. So when they reach the bottom of this rectangle, in the opening of another dimension, they immediately float up. And they're being preserved for all time. And, uh, I mean, there's other ways like taking DNA now, and they can make a DNA bank, but this is my version of Noah's Ark. So today, let's get started with the rhinoceros. And we got a little bit of burnt umber here, very simple. And you always should have a reference photo, so I have one here. And I chalked them in, as you can see. And I'm going to turn this a little bit. And we're going to put our rhinoceros right in here. Yeah. You can see. We're going to put in some lines. I'm not using any glazes. I'm using straight oil paint and burnt umber here. So, and here's our rhinoceros going in today. It actually is a black rhinoceros. So, I always got to look at a reference photo. I don't think anybody can imagine it without looking at something so I did put him what I always talk about is the foreground and thought to think of composition and movement so we're thinking of all that at the same time I'm gonna put this dude in today I'm spreading straight we're gonna darken this area here this is his leg I, if you see I put the salt flats in very dry it uh, it's pretty much a representation of some of the areas that are having problems with water. And we know about that. You have to start conserving more. A little bit more we're going to add here. You can put your palette right in front of you. It's a simple palette. It's just burnt umber and it's a, a burnt sienna, which is a red brown. And a burnt umber is very dark, kind of a green brown. And we're adding him in. There's little wrinkles at the bottom and his little feet. I love his feet. They're almost like elephants. Their feet are so, they're flat and they've got those little spots like an elephant. So we're going to put him in like this, the dark colors first. We're going to put his horns in. This is a black rhinoceros. And his head. And he's got this ear going this way and this ear here. So we're placing his ears in his eye i'm going to put circle the brush a little bit and put his eye right here big nostril here this beautiful little front of his mouth he has before his horn and these little wrinkles we're going to leave this color underneath a little bit as we're working him and his head does drop down here a little bit and you have that second he has two horns he is a black rhinoceros i believe they are gone. I think they only have, I think, some DNA 
and that is it. So, a little back by this wrinkle, a little back by this head. I'm sorry, um, a little black, but we also have that burnt umber in here. And then his wrinkles back in here, and then his back here. Okay, now we're going to go in with a little bit of that brown, which is a lighter brown. And we're just going to add some of that in light. What I like to do is put that down for a second. And drop it back in here a little. There's that light brown right back in here. And that's his hind quarter here. And that's his back leg here. When you're drawing or when you're painting and you're putting something in, if you're not doing it with chalk, I do recommend once you get your background in to put them in with chalk so you can make your changes. But when you do this, you always have to remember, look at negative space. It's very important to look at negative space. Um, and that way you can see the spaces in between the leg and how he is walking. So I'm looking at spaces between the legs. And this is out here. And it comes out here, his bottom of his foot. Similar to an elephant. And that's important to me. I love elephants. That's his back. And there we go. We have our rhinoceros. We're just going to put in some darker colors here to show this back area. And here, and he's got this back area. Now, we should put a little, I like to use titanium white. I'm leaving the photo for a second. I'm going to grab some. I should have it ready on my palette already, but we're going to add a little titanium. Not a lot. A little bit. Don't need a lot. And we're going to put in, we're going to mix it. A little brown. Okay. We're going to make a tan. And we're going to show this area here. Up in here. Pat it in. This is this area here. But I'm not using any glaze. I'm using straight paint today. And up in here, kind of a tan. Keep that brush clean. I'm using one brush too, so I'm reapplying a little titanium white. Right here. Close that up a tiny bit. I think we're going to change this palette for a little raw sienna too. We're going to add a tiny bit of raw sienna in there. And I can see in my reference photo, even though it's an illustration, I can get close to the colors. And just keep it thin. Thin. Just going to put him in. In this area where the highlights are. Right in here. We're going to pat it. As you can see. I'm hoping you can see. Maybe a little bit more. At the top. For highlights in the middle. That's one muscle in here I can see in the, in the photo. And then up in here, and then over in here, a little bit of that tan. Always keep your brush clean. I think that's the secret. Keep that brush that you're using, or you can use multi brushes so you don't have to keep swiping them clean. Multi brushes. You can use three or four. I'm just using one today. I added a little bit more raw sienna, and it's up in here. A little bit. I like to keep it smooth, though. So this painting does not have a lot of technique, but I want it to stay a little bit on the smooth side in here. So I'm getting that off my brush. Adding a little bit more in here. And then I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to add some more in here around that one, and then some wrinkles, those beautiful eyes. I'll take this small little brush and put on some yellow ochre, 
and I'm gonna go around the eye here, dip in a little bit of turpenoid. Keep it like that, and then underneath, we're just gonna put that one in. I'm looking at the photo, a little highlight at the top of his eye. So let's get a little bit more. Sorry for leaving the screen. I'm just gonna get a little bit more turpentine. I have it in a little jar, just so it makes it easier sometimes to spread your colors so here i'm going to put that one in you can see with a little red brown let me just get it on my palette on the inside of the eye and then here i'm going to add here a little bit i mixed a little ultramarine um, because it's a dark blue with the burnt umber Kind of makes a gray feeling. Then I'm going to put some wrinkles in here. Yeah. And then around this beautiful. I'm just going to make a cream. And we'll add, up, add a little bit more burnt umber. And we're going to make this hoof. We'll dip it in the turpentine so we can spread that pretty easy with a small brush. His hoof, I said? Oh, you're not doing horses today, Miss Mile. No, I'm doing a rhinoceros. Beautiful creature on this planet. Should cherish all these creatures. And then I'm going to add a little bit on a streak here. Yep, it's a good color. It looks like the rhinoceros. A touch of the white yeah like that and then in here yep clean that brush a little bit I got this tiny small brush uh, let's go back with that beautiful brown that burnt umber and let's bring it under here for him yep. and here's his big jaw we're gonna blend that right on the canvas dip clean Come around a little bit more of that burnt umber with a tiny bit of titanium white for this area. We've got some lines in here, here. Sometimes I'll just take it and I'll swipe on the side a little bit and bring it so it looks like it is going. And I'll show you. So it's rounded. See, this is a dry brush. So let's just give it some of that texture. And that round feeling with that dry brush, we'll leave that down there. And we're going to add a little bit of highlight, a little bit of the titanium, and a little bit of the white to this area that goes straight to the eye area here. And then it goes around like that. He's beautiful. We're going to go back in with a little titanium on this. And it's not a hoof. We're not doing horses. We're doing a horn and a little bit of the brown in here. You got to get used to painting and, and talking at the same time so you can teach at the same time. But this is exactly what I'm doing. Clean that tiny brush. Go back into that beautiful, beautiful burnt umber. And let's give him some here. That's the top of his head. He's got some wrinkles here. Bring him down. Watch what I do. And a little bit in here. Oh, a little bit of liquid. Watch out. Don't put too much liquid on. Got to be careful. And that's the, uh, uh, the liquid is the terpenoid I use. It's better for you to breathe terpenoid than anything else. So we have that. And we're just going to... Give it a little bit of a swipe here and bring it around so it looks rounded. See how you can do that? And then we're going to go in here with a touch of ivory black and bring that in too. We can do a little bit more. Another swipe here. Okay, slow and easy. There you go. Okay. Then we're going to go in our turpenoid. Clean that. Good. 
And then I think we're going to go in with a little bit more of that burnt umber. Makes a great tan and titanium white. And this is the other part of his head. See? And this is his crazy ear. They have these crazy ears. I love the way their ears look. And we're going to do this ear in here. with a, Take a bit of that black on one side of the brush and a little bit of that burnt umber on the other side of this tip. And we're just going to bring his cute little ear in. And that's what his ear looks like. They look, Their ears look like a, inside of a lily flower. And then you can just take the black, swipe your brush clean as always on your palette or on the thing, and go in and make it black in the middle. Yeah. And leave that edge light that I put in. And they have this strange shape, like I told you, the inside of a lily flower. I'm just going to give a little outline to that one make it go like that clean my tiny fine brush keep this one in my hand clean it up you get more clean you get it you'll keep your turpinoid clean go back in with that beautiful tan and titanium and give that ear kind of a look like that and maybe just outline that one a little bit there you go now I'm going to put some of his back in with the titanium white and his head here. Go back in. Um, back of his ear here. Oh, I spread it right into the ear. It's okay. Fix that. There you go. Now you got to be careful because you're working wet on wet. So we don't want to put too much paint on by his ear. See, it comes like this. So we're going to go back in and just line it like this and scrape it so it looks like wrinkles in there. And then we're going to clean this brush. Clean this one good. Swipe this one good. We're going to take the bigger brush, get it clean. That's why it's good to have six or seven brushes at going at once. It gets hard on the hands, though. So, And then I'm going to take, again, to make a nice tan. So the back of the neck and the ear, it goes like that. One swipe, then in here. Go back in. One swipe in here. Gives them some texture. And then that highlight is here. And there is his bottom part. So we're going to do the little black and a little bit of titanium white. And we're going to put it, we're going to separate this part here. See it? See how I'm doing it? And those were some wrinkles are coming up. And that's his leg in here. I have half the brush with black, half the brush in here. That's where I want his leg. And it comes out here. And don't worry about that because that's his little foot here. And that's his foot that comes out here. This is his back leg. We're going to put it here. And this leg is over here. So we almost have him in. Let's clean your brush again. Go back in for burnt umber. Make a nice tan. And bring this in here. A couple swipes for the back. And I'm using the side of the brush. And I'm keeping it just like that to show those highlights. Nothing more. I'm going to dip in the burnt umber and a little bit of the titanium white. And show a highlight here and a highlight here. And then highlight at the very top. That's it. I'm going to take the small brush. I'm going to add a little bit more. So... You'll leave the screen. I'm going to reapply a little bit of the burnt umber. And I'm going to reapply a tiny bit of the black. It's ivory black, just in case. And you have to reiterate so you don't forget and I don't forget. 
get that cap on. Okay. Now we dry that brush again, and I like the straight titan. Um, I'm sorry, straight burnt umber. And there's a mark here where it goes back and down and around. So I'm pretty much putting on dry right now. See in here? Yep. And that's where he kind of folds under here. So we can do it like this and bring it down. I don't want to over blend because I'm working wet on wet. I'm adding in some of those areas of the back of his leg here and side. I'm using the side of this nice brush and a little darker in here along that black, as you can see. I'm just going to bring it out a little bit here and a little bit there. And then here we have a shadow. I'm using the side of the brush. I'm putting it right into the burnt umber and I'm bringing it down. Yeah. Now I'm going to dip in a little of the ivory black and put that shadow in too. And that's the bottom. He has these cute little, they're like elephant feet. Uh, swipe your brush clean. Dip this one, the smaller brush in. And outline this part under his neck. And then it goes like this. His leg goes under. This goes up. It hangs over. It's like a doolap flap right here. And then it goes up. That part I like. So what I would do is I would go back in a little bit of ivory black and the white and a touch of that ultramarine to make a nice gray. And this is where the flap hangs over here. I'm going to leave those lines in though here, and I'm going to leave some wrinkles like that. Just to show, take the ivory black and take the side of the brush and go underneath. They have that part where it kind of, take a more ivory black and the tiny brush, and here is the black back leg, see? And that's fine because it does show this doulette part. And I'm going to leave areas, as you can see, where I'm going to add white. I'm not going to put too much paint on yet. And we're going to have our rhinoceros shortly. I think here by his ear, I'm going to do one thing. It might be a little bit too high, I notice. Right here. I'm going to bring it down by reversing and taking it down a little bit. And you notice i got to put the salt flats in a little bit more. Then I can take the small brush, go back into the ivory black. I'm going to change my mind on that one. I'm going to go into the burnt umber again and take a little bit of the titanium and just do it here. That's where I want it. So, and then back in here, we'll just take a touch of the ivory black and outline it. It does come here by his ear. I had the back too high. You can always make adjustments. And then they have these fine, fine leather. I mean, I'm not, they're not fine. It's a very rough skin on the rhinoceros. So excuse me for saying fine, but it's a rough skin. So I'm going to put in little dots at the top and I can apply it like this. So it shows some of the texture kind of going north, south, east, and west to show kind of a rough skin. Leave those lines in here for the wrinkles. That's his ear. And you can go in here. And I got some great, because I swiped with that brush, I got some great little, um, how you go, feeling as far as small little wrinkles. And then the big area is here. You can just soften that a little bit. You can dip this brush into the white and just go like this. I don't want too much texture though. Kind of want it like that with the stripe, with his wrinkles. A little bit more in here for highlights. So he's bulging. And up in here. And then, uh, let's see. Let's put back in the salt flats a little bit around him. I mean, even though we know. I'm just using the side of this brush with a little burnt umber.
can we'll just get a sh not show that back anymore kind of he fades into the background now we're going to put in the white and the black for this part the front of his leg kind of wrinkle you see what i'm doing and i'm turning the brush sideways so watch because he has a big area here where his leg is and he's moving forward and he has it here too and then there's that doulette flap that hangs and then in here it comes out a little bit more and we're going to lighten up this area with the side of the brush and that's his other leg in front okay and we can pat too for some different texture but keep it flat i don't want a lot of heavy texture on this one we're going to go back in with a little titanium and ivory black and do this leg for highlight use the side of the brush like that it's another leg we can even go straight titanium white and give it a little bit more highlight and then we'll outline it so i'll show you that in a second and here too just a little bit okay and here where the knee is and the bottom we can show those little hooves i'm just taking the brush and turning it the other way and then here we're going to bring it in finally we're going to get to the back leg watch out that for that knee it goes down a little bit so i'm going to take the side of the brush and i'm just going to give some eye highlight and spin that brush and then put in just like elephants they have these wonderful little nails <laughs> They're sweet. Some are big. Well, of course, the one in the middle is going to be. And there we have some. Then we have a little bit more in here. So I'm going to take the titanium white dry and just put some in here for his wrinkles and his belly and stuff and carry it forward. Then I'm going to go back in with this beautiful uh, burnt umber and carry that up for nice shadows. Just a little rough, wet on wet today. And I think we have a little bit there. Um, I probably would give this back end a little bit here more on this end and carry that in. But he does look like a rhinoceros, possibly a little bit more on his cheek here. And I think we're done. So that's the lesson today. Um, I would probably add a little bit more detail later, but we can do that because the top of his eye and in here gets a little bit more white in there. And then we put our brushes down, all, oops, all three. And I'm just going to take a light swiper. I know you know I love to use these swipers. And I'm just going to give it kind of a... A very lightly think of a burr um, a feather that's what I say a feather and take that off swipe it off this dry brush and it's a nice very soft see very soft and we're just gonna bring it around to give it a three-dimensional look on him and even in here but I'm gonna swipe it every time fast way to blend even in here bring it up like that. See, now you're getting a three-dimensional look. And in here, I'm going to swipe a little bit of his wrinkles away and up for that part. And in here, just a little lightly. Always do it lightly. It's a great blender, but you have to be very light. That's why I imagine a feather in my head. Because then I can know I'm just swiping enough that I'm going to add a, a feather and we can always make adjustments. So I'm going to come down to his leg here and swipe his, his legs and give it a three dimensional look. This leg, don't forget the swipe and his knee and his leg over there. So we have some detail because we have those wrinkles in and we can go back in and just simply outline. So, I mean, here, I would might bring it around like that and then bring it around here. Don't overwork it. 
okay? Swiper is finished, and it's not that dirty. I kept it pretty clean. Always have paper towels on hand. Now, I'm just going to go back to the very fine brush, this tiny, tiny, tiny fine brush. I'm going to dip it in the turpentine. And I'm not going to do much outlining, but I'm going to do a little bit. So here I'm going to outline his belly. There. And I'm going to give him this shape in here. And it goes back if you look. Yeah, that's how it is. We've got a muscle here and a muscle here. So I'm just going to blend those two in. And then I'm going to bring his leg back in a little bit. His feet, I mean, his cute little, they have these great, uh, just like elephants, nails. They're huge. See? One, two, three, and put some bottom on there. It's always going to have more shadows underneath, but right now we're just working on the rhinoceros, and I'll show you how to put shadows in underneath when we get to that. Okay. Here. Cleaning that up a little bit and blending lightly. And I'm going to take a little bit of the burnt umber, mix it in with a little bit of the ivory black, and just bring it out a little bit here. That's his knee. You can see it. And it comes down to his leg. And there's his nails. I think we have a rhinoceros. Only thing I see that I might want to do just add a little bit of that titanium and get it smooth. Clean that tip up. Get a nice tip. And just in here with some highlight. Just at the top before the flats go in, see? A little bit. Yeah. I think we have A. And maybe a tiny bit. You got working wet on wet now in oil, so you got to be just a couple wrinkles in there. You can see them, and then you have this place here where it shows another muscle. And then I'm going to go back in. I just put in some burnt umber lightly. I'm going to go in straight burnt umber and black, and just add this one muscle that's pretty strong right in here. And it goes up like that. Then I'm going to clean my brush as always. And I'm going to bring in a little bit of the red brown, which is burnt sienna, right in here as it goes around. Put that brush down. And just, let's use that swiper again. That's the idea. And just swipe it out yeah, right in here and it gives wrinkles too see how it kind of will give them wrinkles and keep that brush clean a little bit more of this burnt sienna which is red it's unlike the burnt umber and just bring it in here where there's a highlight in my reference and in here where that muscle is, I can go back and mix a little bit more burnt umber. Just give it that feeling where that muscle is right in here. Yeah. And here, that's a muscle here. And then a little bit of the burnt sienna, the red brown, and the burnt umber. And just fix this spot so it still looks like the hump here. See how it goes up here and in here. And then one last thing before we end the lesson today. Just wipe clean. Always turn it. Turn it. So today was just a simple rhinoceros in my version of Noah's Ark. Um, I don't know. I'm not necessarily religious, but I'm using Noah, uh, Noah's Ark, the name, because of symbolism, because I want to save these animals. 
and they're going to go into our virtual rectangle, which is another dimension. I just put that brush down, and I did notice one more little thing I have to do. And I think it's right here. I lost some of that baggy area right here in his dewlap flap. See it? See his dewlap flap? So I'm going to put that back in, and it's in here in its entirety, and then up in here. And that's fine. I don't mind that. And we're finished. So thank you for watching the rhinoceros come to life today. And I will show you some more on the virtual Noah's Ark. I'm going to put some of this in here today, just for the flats. They're going to go back. Remember, everything in the back is lighter and softer and less detail. So I'm just going to leave it like this for now. And I will show you later how to put the dry flats in. See, just put some triangles and, and then we'll go back in with this nice color in here. And we'll get all these in eventually. We'll go back in with the burnt umber. Always going to be lighter where these are. And we're just going to go back yeah, a little bit more. Burnt Umber, my favorite color on the planet. I don't know why I love this color, but... And one more swipe, clean brush. And just go up on this one, just so we're going to start. I'm going to show you. This is just a quick of the salt flats. They're going to be going back. And as they go back, it will be lighter and smaller. And less detail as we get back into here by the giraffe, see? So right now, we're going to end the lesson. Thank you so much for watching again. I'm Mayo. And today we worked on the rhinoceros, if you can see it. And we put in the rhinoceros today. So thank you very much for viewing. And I'll uh, talk to you again, or I'll see you again. We'll end it now. Thank you for viewing. Bye.